You know, fishing topwater is got to be one of the best techniques out there, the most fun for bass fishermen, but a technique that everybody that likes to bass fish really needs to master is, is the popper technique. This is one of the smallest topwaters out of all the bass fishing topwaters out there. You know, you've got buzz baits, you've got frogs, you've got all sorts of different baits, but the popper is really small and it's really effective. Uh, anytime you've got bass busting on small baits or you've got calm conditions like we have at this little lake in front of us right here. So with this lunker hunt cracking, the bait has got a kind of a smaller uh, little face to it, the uh, indented face than some of the other poppers I've seen. So it's a real subtle, it's a real buoyant bait. It's got a split ring on the front of it. So you don't have to tie a loop knot, it makes it real easy. And you got a feathered treble hook on the back. That's always a good target. And you always want really sharp hooks on your top waters. You want, you want them to be sticky, sharp because a lot of times when bass hit a top water like this it's just kind of a reaction they just come up and swipe at it so you'll actually miss a lot of fish if you don't have really sharp hooks on it so imperative to have sharp hooks um, and <laughs> this is a perfect situation that i have right behind me for top water it just rained there's a lot of insects and things in the water um, it's got overhanging trees it's got grass so Anytime you've got bluegill that are uh, eating insects and um, just any type of surface activity, any kind of rain coming into the water, that's, that's, that's one of the best times to throw top water like this. Calm, no wind, that's usually in the summer, early fall, when we have those types of conditions. So this is a perfect time to throw this kraken. Oh gosh, I already had one bite it, right there. There's another one, got him, got him. Tiny one. I didn't even have to move it. It's just literally this, like the sound of the bait hitting the water is enough sometimes. When I throw a, when I throw a, a popper style bait out like this, I will usually let it hit the water and just sit for a second, especially if I'm close to a target before I start to move it because if they think it's something that just fell out of a tree, they'll swim over there and they'll, they'll grab it. And with other topwaters like buzz baits and frogs and you know, big walking baits, you just start moving them right away. But with these poppers, real important to just slow your roll, just kind of take your time and include some pauses in your presentation. That's what I found for, for bigger bass. It's always important to have those pauses with topwaters like this. Now when you're making these long pauses, real important to have a floating line. So I'm actually using a 16 pound test monofilament line right now. You don't want to use fluorocarbon because fluorocarbon sinks and that's going to drive the nose of your bait down. That's real important that you use a floating line. You could use braid, you could use 15, oh! bass right there. Small bass. A lot of small ones right there. You can use braid. The nice thing about braid is you got no stretch. You can cast a little bit further, but when you have treble hooks on a bait, I always like to have a stretchy line. It just helps to keep the fish hooked up, whereas braid, you kind of lose some fish to that sometimes. Little tiny bass right there. Another thing that you really need is a, is a good rod for topwater. You don't want a real heavy rod. The lighter the rod you can get away with, the better. Especially if you're not fishing around a lot of cover where you don't have to steer the fish around. If you can get away with a, a medium or a medium light rod, that is an excellent way to work the bait. You can often cast the bait a lot farther. These little popping baits like this Kraken, they're usually lighter. This one's actually pretty heavy. You can cast it pretty far but there's a lot of them out there that are super, super light. You know, they're balsa and things like that. So I like to fish them on really light rods where I can get good long casts and also work the bait effectively. You wanna get a rod length that's really comfortable with your height too. So this is a seven foot, you know, I'm about six foot tall, so I can still work this, especially if I'm on a boat with the rod tip down. But a lot of times I fished a 6.10 or a 6.8, real easy to work the rod tip down. 
Look at it as the same uh, rod you would fish a jerk bait with on a bait caster. That's how I, I usually use the same rod I fish pop R's with, is the same rod I fish a lot of uh, lighter jerk baits with. Um, that is the exact same setup basically except you're using different line. You want floating line with top water, sinking line with jerk baits. But one of the keys to, to fishing, you know, different depths and the, the aggression on your pops and jerks is, you know, when I'm fishing really shallow and it's really calm, that's when I'm kind of just using a light approach, really small pops. I'm, I'm usually just kind of with my rod tip to the side or up. And if I'm fishing a little bit deeper water or there's a little chop, that's when I'll put the rod tip down and really go with some big chugs to really get those fish's attention. But in light uh, conditions and really calm conditions when you got shallow water and clear water, sometimes it's better to go with that really finesse pop approach. So if you get this technique down, have the proper gear, it is uh, one of the best ways to catch bass, like one of the most fun ways that you can catch a bass. You know, I would say besides a frog, throwing a top water like this and just hearing that, that pop, that explosion, it makes me want to get up early and go bass fishing. If you struggle with excess missed hook sets and problems with knots and just not catching fish in general, subscribe here to the Mystery Tackle Box channel. And there's other videos here that you can click on that'll help advance your journey into fishing greatness.